years before Beacon, John was cooking food on a campfire. Then a bird lands behind him, transforming into Raven. Raven? Boy, is dinner ready? John? Yes, mother, it will be ready soon. How was your time working? Raven? Fine, I've earned enough for three weeks of travel. How are you doing keeping watch? John? It was alright some grim went by and I hid without alerting them. Raven? Good you're learning basic survival instincts. Keep this up, and you'll be ready to face them. He smiles a million what smile at her as he said. John? Thanks, mother. An anime arrow hit her in the heart as she blushed. John just tilts his head in confusion. She turns her back on him as she held her chest asking herself, Raven, what is this? Why does my chest feel funny? John, mother, is everything all right? Raven, it's nothing boy, let's eat. John, Okay, the night passes as the two ate and went to sleep and prepare for the next day. Morning. Raven. Wake up, boy. It's time for you to learn some basics in living in the wild. John. Okay, what am I supposed to learn? She throws him a bow. Raven, you will learn to hunt. Let's go, boy. They then leave to hunt some out. Raven knelt to the ground and gestured for John to come closer. John, what is it? Raven, you see this, these eight elf tracks. Always remember the different footprints because you don't want to meet a grim or rather your lunch. John nods in understanding until they heard the elk from a distance he then tries to run, but was stopped by Raven. Raven, we're hunting elk not chasing it. Making too much noise will alert it and it will be more harder to catch. He nods again. A few moments later, they found the elk as John prepares to launch an arrow. When it came down to it, he was still lacking experience and let loose too early and missed. Raven, look at what you've done. Now its guard is up. It. She noticed that John was starting to cry and then cooled her head. Raven, you had doubt. Lesson one in life, boy. Never do anything when you are in doubt. John, I'm sorry. Raven, don't be sorry, be better. He nods as the pair moves to find the elk again, and they did. Raven, can you hit it from here? John took a look and noticed that they may be too far. John, I think we should get closer. She nods in approval, and they closed in for the kill. John took aim as Raven was hoping that he succeed and Achar did not disappoint as he hit his mark. They walked closer as the elk was still alive. Raven then pulls out a dagger and hands it over to John but he falters. She took note that he only killed the Grim due to survival instincts. But this is now he is in his clear mind. 
seeing how conflicted he looks. She took the dagger and finished the job. Then she put her hand on his shoulder. Raven, I won't be here forever, boy. You should learn to finish my what you started. He nods sadly as she frowns knowing he's still a sheltered spirit, but she was pulled out of her thoughts as a beringel charges in as Raven knocks her son out of the way and took the Grimm's attention away from him. Raven was avoiding the wild swings until it ripped off a tree by its roots and caught her off guard it was learning. She failed to adjust to the length of the Beringel's new reach and hits her sending her smashing to a tree. As her aura flickered, she looked up and the Beringel was already there ready to swing, but a couple of arrows hits its wrist forcing it to let go of the log. Its attention was now at the young aspiring huntsman who's frantically grabbing arrows from his quiver as it charges at him. Raven struggled to stand as she got the wind knocked out of her. John then let loose shot after shot, but the gorilla just shrugs it off as it closes in Hedeen out of arrows as he tried to escape the monkey only to see its hand folding onto his leg as it threw him towards a large rock. He smashed into it as his aura breaks as it was not fully matured yet Raven gasped at the scene as she saw blood pooling at his head now on the ground. Then unknown to her magenta flame sparks in her eyes as a storm began to form. Raven, John. The Beringel's attention shifts to her as it freezes. She was soaring right at him as she discards her blade and smashed the poor Grim to pulp with her fists. Raven, how asterisk smash asterisk dare smash you smash dio asterisk smash asterisk that smash tio smash my smash baby smash boy. Crunch. All that was left was a mangled head as the grim corpse fades away. She rushes to John and cradles his head. Raven, John, stay awake. Talk to me. John, did I do good? Mo, there. Raven, you did good. You saved me. As she was crying. John, I'm happy. She stayed with him all night as he recovered. This was the first time he called him by his name and when she became protective of him. This is what it feels like to be a mother.